guys, how's it going? It is Dynasty Reloaded coming back at you guys with another little plug-in tutorial. And in this one, we are going to be showing you, or I am going to be showing you, how to make a healing, killing, and feeding plugin. These are simple plugins, but the thing is about this tutorial, it's not really on those. It's more to show you guys how to do multiple commands in the same plugin, and also how to use strings to a little extent, not to how it can be fully used, but just a tiny bit. So if and this statement is pretty much just going to say that the console cannot use any of these commands. Instance of player. So if there's not an instance of a player, then we are going to send a message back to him saying chat color dot red consoles cannot use this command. All right, now let's use healing plugin. So you can't actually heal people from the plugin. So now that we got that made, we can actually go ahead and start making our command. But first off, let's rename player player equal to player sender. And now we can start working on the command. So if CMD, which since we're using CMD, we can change this up here to CMD because that's what we need is the command. And we're using that instead of string for the actual um, command because it's a little easier if you use it this way. It keeps the um, command together, but it also allows you to um, add multiple commands. So we're going to get name. So it'll get the name of the command and equals ignore case. So that way it can be whatever case you want it to be. So heal. And for heal, we're going to do player dot set health 20. So in Minecraft, everything is in increments of 20, at least food and health does. That's why there's 10 little hearts and it goes down halfway each time. So 2 times t 10 is 20. So we're going to actually do player dot send message and chat color dot green plus you have been healed and we can go ahead and return true so now for this next part actually we need to add something on right here so if arguments are equal to zero so that means if there are no arguments, so if they enter this, what's the saying? So if arguments, okay, it's not arguments, it's arguments length. So I don't know why I forgot that, but arguments length, that way it's saying as long as there's no more than hell or heal right here, then it'll do this. But now, since there's going to be more than that, or if there is more than that, we're going to do player. Actually, we need to rename player again. So player, to, we're going to rename it to target, and we're going to set player equal to bucket dot get player. Now, actually, let's get it the server first, so we can get different players. Get, um, let's see, get players. And set args to zero. All right, so now we can go ahead and make this statement. So if um, target is equal to null, then we're going to send the target. Actually, we're not. We're going to send the player send a message back to him saying that the player is not online. Player is not on line. So now that you have that, you can go ahead and go down here. So where? Oh wait, we need to return this true. And now we can go down. So we're gonna add on if they are. So if they do, or if their argument is longer than that, and the target is 
null, or if the target is not null, then this will happen. So target dot set health twenty target dot send message. We're gonna send the message chat color dot green. Okay, what just happened? Green. What this message is gonna say is you have been healed by leave a space. We're gonna change chat color dot yellow. Just because I think it looks better this way. You can change it to whatever color you want, honestly. But this way it looks better to me. Alright, so now that we got that, we're going to add player dot get name. Actually let's use sender. Because if you do player dot get name, it's gonna get their own name. So sender dot get name. That way whoever sent the command it'll get their name. Plus that. Well, let's change the chat color for that back to red. Um, there we go. And there we go. So now it's saying... Alright, what's wrong with that? Okay, I see what's wrong with it. You need a plus sign there. Alright, so now after you have that, that's pretty much going to send a, tar or a message to the person that you healed saying that you have been healed by then the person who ever sent the command, so it would be you, and then red again. Or no, we need to make that green, not red. Sorry. Since this is a good command, we're going to make it red. And now we're going to send a message back to the player saying, chat color dot green plus you have healed Make sure you put a space or else it's not going to come out right. And chat color dot yellow. I like making the people's name actually yellow. And we're going to make target dot get name. And now we can just put chat color dot green again. Plus. I like the exclamation mark, it just looks better, in my opinion. And that's pretty much all you need for health. So first off, you're going to want to actually set the suppression warnings. And right here, it's not going to be player, it's going to be player. Um, I don't know what happened there, because I could have sworn I control shifted, or control spaced, but oh well. And now to make the other command, we are going to just copy all of this. Or no, copy from here down. And we can copy, space, paste, and now you just want to change this to feed. So we'll feed the player. You have been fed. You have been fed by. You have fed. So pretty much that's all you got to do. And set food level. And you're going to do the same for up here. So it's just food level. Food level. And 20. So if you control space that, then it will do that. But let's go back up to here. And there we go. So we're going to actually make one more command. And this is going to be health again. So we're going to change this to 0. And 0. So that way it's going to be for killing yourself. It's going to set your health to 0 automatically. You have been... Or you have committed suicide. You have been killed by. You have killed. And we're going to change this to red just because red means bad. So red, red, and this might be easier if I just copy and pasted that, but oh well. And red. And all right, so that should be everything. So now you can go in your plugin YML. You can copy this if you want. Right here is just four spaces, if you've ever wondered. So as you can see, one, two, three, four. 
and then you can start typing and that's pretty much all you need for that and heal feed and kill those are three commands I have description usage for it but we're not really gonna be using that so save and what's going on now okay so what's going on there we just gotta re turn to actually return this right here turn true and there we go that should fix it yep and we can go ahead and export that reload the server and let me set difficulty so I don't die from anything else well let me give myself flint and still so myself on fire just so you guys can see that I'm getting hurt if I can find a water source I mean I can make it to here I guess and so now heal so you, as you can see I've been healed now let's do feed for hunger if I can spell it alright this is why I want to set difficulty to zero because you can still get hurt with difficulty zero so now let me show you heal UAVX challenge okay for what happened there was we forgot to change this to kill so now we can save it and export sorry about that I thought I changed it but I guess not so reload and let me set difficulty zero so flint alright give alright that's taking forever so give UAVX challenge oh, I can't believe I keep doing that flint and steel and now let me set myself on fire heal UAVX challenge you have healed by or you have been healed by UAVX challenge you have healed UAVX challenge it's only giving me both of those back because I'm healing myself but if somebody else heals me it'll say that so now let's do kill as you can see you have committed suicide kill UAVX challenge you have been killed by UAVX challenge you have killed UAVX challenge and now for the last one we're going to get my hunger down a little just so y'all can see feed you already saw feed but let me show you what feed player looks like it's just going to be the same except in green just like heal alright I still have double jump on so that might actually run my health down a little faster actually it's not going to because difficulty is on peaceful let me just give myself this to protect myself and Titan for somebody else does work if you want to give somebody else a Titan class but like I said there's no leveling to it or um, cooldown unless you did what my tutorial yesterday said with the cooldown it's pretty easy but that's not the best cooldown you can use I will be giving out a tutorial on how to do the best cooldown but right there you can see you have been fed by UAVX challenge you have fed UAVX challenge so thank you guys for watching and next time we are going to be actually showing you how to make this into a sign so whenever you click on a sign it will heal you automatically or you can feed somebody automatically by clicking on a sign I'm also might be showing how to repair weapons by doing that I kinda have to figure out the code I haven't really done it before but I've seen it used so I know there's a way to do it and yeah so please remember to rate comment subscribe and later